is a snowy truck. And those in the background are mountains. And that is Sapporo Station because we are live from Sapporo. That's the, uh, the we are live from Sapporo theme song that I thought up and made right now in this moment. So if you want to print that and put it on a t-shirt, nobody will know because it doesn't have music notes and you won't be able to hear it because it's a t-shirt. That's, that's right, it's a t-shirt. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen from Hokkaido, from Sapporo, on the trip that I scheduled just a little longer in case we had trouble with all the snow. Because as you can see, there's a little bit of snow and a little bit of no right here, and we'll get into the no later on. And so today, we are gonna walk around and explore sammy thank you so much for that super chat and good morning everybody super appreciate that how is everybody doing this morning you might be wondering the standard things like what time is it well it is currently about 7 20 a.m here in i was about to say tokyo but we're not at, that woman has two children strapped to her one on the front and one on the back beast mode activated and so we are walking through Sapporo and it is currently about minus seven degrees feels like minus 40. no i'm kidding it doesn't feel that cold it's it's completely fine and there are piles of snow everywhere we go i haven't quite decided which way we're gonna go but seriously are we still zoomed in? We are not. Why does it feel so zoomed in? We are. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, inaccurate usage of the equipment. Seriously though, beast mode. Okay, we are gonna head down this way. As we walk around, we'll take a peek at the mountains there in the background and check out some of Sapporo's landmarks. Whew. Ah, and we have a Super chat here from Christopher saying, good morning. Hope all is well with everyone are enjoying the streams together. Oh, that is, that's just a message for everyone. Thank you so much for that, Christopher. I hope you're doing well. It's actually not that bad. It's probably warming up, to be honest. When I left the hotel this morning, it was about minus seven, but it feels much better. Uh, Purple Rose in here with a super chat saying, hello, it's snowy and cold, about minus 10 degrees in Chicago. Thank you very much for putting that into the Celsius that I would understand because them Fahrenheit's I just cannot follow. And if you missed our last live stream, we were lucky enough in the middle of the live streams to actually take a full on slip and tumble. It was an adventure of a lifetime. And so that live stream was a night live stream up from about two days ago. Let's say two days ago. Let's say that. And today I put it up to a vote. Uh, when did everybody want to do a stream? And the most popular choice was morning. And so morning it is. This is actually stream number 12. 12 of a month of live streams that we have done here on the Tokyo Lens Explorer channel. There's a lot of people who, on the last stream who commented like, oh my God, I've been watching, but I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, give that subscribe button some love. Give the like button some love. We're gonna gamify it. Let's see if we can't get the like button up to 300 people in the next two minutes and the game begins. So we're gonna start right here with the first Sapporo landmark. Can anybody tell me what this landmark is? Jumping into the chat section below. Go, 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 go. Also, this is more than likely going to be a more brief live stream than we usually do. I won't be going on this one for like two plus hours, etc. We'll probably keep this one a little closer to an hour. Frank the Tank in here saying, go to Sandarius Sandwich Shop. That sounds amazing. 
sandwich sounds actually really good. That's a nice breakfast. That snowman was the landmark. Yes. Yes. Oh my lord. So many people guessed it. The snowman was the landmark. And then behind the snowman, there's this like insignificant brick building that I think just went up in like 2000 and 21 or something, you know, not really all that important. But John Manning in here with a super important super chat saying, Hey Norm, get yourself a <laughs> get yourself up to Mariama nearby. The view from the top is ace. Well, geez, I would love to, but we're leaving today. So it looks like I'm gonna have to come back, which is fine because the 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 snow festival. Those are the words I'm looking for. The snow festival is still to come here in Sapporo. So, and Sarah, hey, Sarah. Sarah has been on a binge of the content lately. And so we've actually really gotten to know each other really well because Sarah has left a ton of comments along the way, which is something I always request and encourage. If you're gonna do a binge, leave me a trail of comments through everything you're doing so we can get to know each other. And so, hi Sarah, thank you so much for that. And Sarah is saying, finally, a live stream. This is a great way to end the day-ish. Still a few hours to go. Greetings and good to everyone. Well, thank you, Sarah. So, there we go. We are currently right there. And if you can read it, it says that we're at the official residence of AKB48. That's right. Super, super exciting. And dry, dry, dryinger, dryger, dryger. I, I, there was, I put an N in there that didn't exist. Said, did you ever take that lady from the tiny apartment uh, video out to get ramen? This, this is why we need to be connected over on things like Instagram and Twitter and whatnot. Because I have been, uh, I've put up several stories with her over on Instagram and uh, we did one better than going out and getting ramen together. But if you missed the Instagram stories, Instagram and Twitter are linked so we can easily hang out on those anytime. And we're gonna make our way to our next landmark. And Sarah saying good vibes, long day. Excellent. So, can anybody guess what our next Sapporo City landmark is going to be? And Pied Piper, good morning again. Hi, Pied Piper, how you doing? Lots of people coming through here, by the way. Thanks for the morning stream. I'm actually, I was like, cookie dinner? Cookie dinner sounds amazing, but I think you meant cooking dinner right now. And it's great to have the stream up in the background. Well, I hope that you're enjoying your dinner. I also hope that your dinner is cookies. It probably isn't, but if it is, that's a... <gasps> And because Sweet Archangel requested a sewer lid reveal the other day, and we didn't get to do it. I'm trying to clear away a sewer lid right now. <clears throat> Is that, have I just made it worse? I feel like I've just made it so much worse. There, it's the closest thing I think we're gonna get to a sewer lid reveal. And thank goodness for the strong winter boots. Yay, sewer lid reveal. Okay, that, that is fulfilling a contractual obligation from a previous stream that I just did not manage to <laughs> don't slip again. I know, last time I got super focused on one of the manhole covers is when we went down. It was a boom, boom. There, was, uh, there were noises involved and it was spectacular. So now going back to the original landmark from this area, this over here is Bob the Big Boy. Hello, Bob. And Bob the Big Boy has a smug smile on his face because he's been known to be a bit of a jerk. But that's okay. We all love Bob. 
showing off the AKB48 headquarters in the background there, which now weirdly looks like the Canadian Parliament. And Andrew in here saying, hey Norm from Massachusetts. Thank you so much, Andrew. Hope you are doing well. I'm keeping one hand in my pocket for most of this stream so that it doesn't freeze off. But I've already fairly well adjusted to the temperature here in Sapporo. When I got out here the other day, getting off the I did not want to get out of the station. It took me the better part of an hour to leave the station just because I was like, nah, we we're just gonna, we'll stay in here. Because in here is where the warmth exists. And it was like a blizzard outside. It was crazy. The train was just going through a tunnel of white from the time we left the airport all the way to here. It was quite fascinating in its own way. And then I looked outside and you couldn't see more than maybe five meters out from the station. I was like, you know what? Feels like a good time for a coffee. And so sat down, did a little bit of editing. Good time was had. And Eva-chan in there keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, as always for a nice hot morning beverage, stay warm. Thank you very much. You know that coffee is on the roster for today. And clear off the top of your car. Oh, drifting. He did that on purpose. He knew we were watching him and he's like, you know what? We're gonna have a little bit of fun here. I still think he should be clearing off the top of his car. Cause if that blows off onto the car behind him and covers their windshield, it's game over for somebody no matter how mad your drifting skills are. So he only gets three points for the drift because he loses seven points for safety. Otherwise it would have been like a good, like wouldn't have been a 10 point drift. He gets two. He still loses seven. It would have been nine points at the most because it was a little mini safety drift. Okay, moving on. Christian in here for us saying hi from Puerto Rico. Thanks for giving me my Japan fix with a beautiful footage from Hokkaido. Oh, I almost went down again. Slow walking. Here's a little something for a warm morning beverage. Christian, thank you so much for keeping that super chat ball rolling. I will take you up on that warm morning beverage. I look forward to enjoying it. And in reading that, I almost slipped and fell. Totally worth it. And I, I will say CYN because I, I, can't, I can't read that. The risk is too high. Saying, get yourself something warm to eat. Ramen. Glad to finally catch a live stream. Thank you so much. He tried clearing the roof with the drift. Now that's, that's the comment of the day right there. He tried to clear the roof with the drift. All right. We are going to cross here. Tra la la. Crow summer. Yeah, there were a ton of crows there. Look at that. That is not bad at all. You get two hours. Nijikam. No mi hodai. All you can drink for sen hachijuen. That's like two hours, all you can drink for 10 bucks or less. That's ah, something I do enjoy about Japan. Mind you, more often than not, it, you gotta watch out. If you get something like beer or you order all your cocktails as a double, or if you're, the, you know, alcohol just gets you real quick, is that a sentence? It's a sentence today. Then you're usually good, but they tend to serve you to, like really watery drink. And this place has one up them with a Nomi Hodai that uh, again also has beer for 980 yen. This one also has a Tabe Hodai for 25.98. So there we go. All right, so can anybody tell us what our next landmark is going to be? Let me know. Two hours of drinks, they'll be broke in a week when I visit them. Yeah, they'll, trust me, they'll. <laughs> you'll, order, you'll order like 40 drinks and they'll give you alcohol worth for like eight. 
and Viola in there with a little stamp keeping the super chats rolling. Thank you so much for that. And let's just take a minute to appreciate these icicles and this Kirinichiban thing. That's it. I just wanted to appreciate that. And I knew as I did this, what landmark is up next. I knew that the color 12 was going to be able to tell us what our next landmark is because the color 12 has been kindly tracking all of our live streams over the past month. Actually, since the, the inception of this channel, the color 12 has been on that. Look at all these big old buses. It's tower time. That's right. Ooh. And just waiting on the flashy lights. The paths are so clear. Yeah, uh, the paths are clear because they're magic paths made out of magic, blessed from the Lord of the Rings with the mountains in the background. One does not simply walk the paths of Sapporo. And the mood struck me last night to actually make a video. So last night I left the hotel at midnight, midnight, and went out and did a video in the back streets of Sapporo in the snow. It wasn't supposed to snow at all. And then it did pretty hard so i had to kind of escape that part way through the video but that's all part of the adventure and that's going to be going up on tokyo lens most likely as the first video of this year there's another video that i've been working on for the last month but this one just felt like it had to be the first video of the year so that is what we are going to be doing with that whoo I don't know how this happens. I, before starting each live stream, I have kind of a regimen. I usually drink a, a full bottle of water and I usually have something to eat. More often than not, chicken and onigiri. And then within the first like 20 minutes of the live stream, guaranteed starving. And that's where we're at right now. Norm is starving. And this is the clock tower. And if you don't know the history of the clock tower, it's very simple. This is the very first clock ever in Japan. No, it's not. Please don't believe the things that I teach when it comes to like, historical significance. They're almost never accurate, unless I say that they're accurate. Japanese, that was not actually the first clock tower in Japan or clock. It was the, the third and all of the others were made out of marshmallows. So Patricia in here saying, finally caught some live stream. Happy New Year, Ever late Happy New Year, everyone. Well, thank you very much. And a happy clock tower made out of marshmallows to you. Today, last night, I actually watched a snowplow push around snow in this parking lot for the better part of like 15 minutes. And it was weirdly fascinating. I just, I miss those standard, like winter-esque things, like, like, like snow plows or the Sapporo Tower right there, which says it is 7.38 in the morning, which means our next thing is going to be Odori Park, yay. Odori Park is up here in front of us. We'll start by taking a wee peek at the clock tower there, making our way a little bit through the park. And then already I need to grab myself some form of beverage because my tummy needs something. Da, 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 da. I feel like that tune was from something. Da, 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 da. What is it? Was that, like, is that an old diapers commercial? I'm stuck on Pampers. No, Band Aid. Stuck on Band Aid because Band Aid stuck on me. There we go. I knew it was from something. It was. It was logged in there. I just needed to find it. Found it. We got it. We are good. Did you bring cash? I have a couple coins in my pocket this time. I came well prepared. And these guys are like, "Go ahead, dude." 
jaywalk. We dare you. Do it. Do it. I'm not going to do it. And Trizac in here keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, good morning. Make sure to hydrate today. Thank you very much. I will 100% hydrate at the first vending machine I can find that serves hot drinks. And this dude here, he's just, it sounded like suntan lotion is good for me. J sliding, surely be safe. No, you know, honestly, I, I love sliding around in this weather. Uh, but when you're on mid live stream, it's probably safer to not slide around so that we don't fall again. I'm taking extra caution today just because this time I have a whole bunch of fancy camera gear in the bag. And if we go down and we smash the camera gear, we don't get to make videos for a while. So, and Sarah Nova, hi, how's it going? Saying, hey, Norm, enjoying all the streams immensely. Get yourself a hot chocolate on me. That sounds like the kind of thing that I would do. So I think I'm gonna do that. Let's see if the Sapporo Tower here has itself a fancy little vending machine where we can't grab some kind of heated beverage as often is the case here in Japan. And the, the mountains in the background are looking fancy. The sun should be popping up over the city any hour now. I always try and time these so that we actually have light. I kind of messed that up when we were in Kyoto. I forgot that the sunrise is such a different time in the winter than it is in the summer. In the summer, the sun rises insanely early in Japan, like insanely early. You're looking at like a 4, 4.30 a.m. sunrise. It's spectacular. And then that bounces back to like 7, 7.30 because there's no daylight savings time in the winter. And... Quantaga. I hope I said that right. Keeping the super chat ball rolling saying, go grab a Nikumang from the Kaishodo in Suzuki no da. You walk past it on your last Sapporo stream and they are really good. All right, if we make our way down that way, a Nikumon actually sounds like it would really hit the spot right now. So I will keep my eyes open for the oh boy <laughs> i overstepped and wow oh, chris yamagata thank you so much for that insane level of kindness saying happy new year's norm and everyone chris thank you so much a happy new year to you as well i hope it is off to a great start we are here at the tower now 742 vending machines getting closer and closer and michael and also keeping that super chat ball rolling saying where in canada are you from norm and how does the cold in hokkaido compare right now where i am at the moment it doesn't compare it's not that bad at all it's minus five or six or something now it definitely is warmer than it was and the uh I'm from the Ontario area. There's actually a whole bunch of videos uh, of me in Canada up on the channel. And one of the times that I went and visited, it was easily minus 25, 26. Uh, and the wind was about minus 40. So this, in comparison, really isn't that bad at all. It looks like a very shiny ground. I hope we don't go down. Yeah, it's slippery. That is just a very large slippery soda. This is where people gather too. They made a very, very poor tiling choice on this. All right, here we go. All right, get some, some chill out relaxation beverage. And we have our cocoa and it's not sold out. So yay to that. Let me see if I can't get some coins out of my pocket. Oh, did I bring the wrong coins? Did I leave the main coins on the... I did. I brought the wrong coins. That's okay. Because as a backup, as a backup, I also brought one of those big old fancy sandbills. Okay. 
So we're gonna put the same bill in there. If I can do it with one hand, we're gonna hope it accepts it. It, duh, it's been folded in my pocket for days. So it doesn't want to accept it. Take the bill, take it. Don't be rude. Oh, you took it. Thank you. I, I apologize for calling you rude. I just, I preemptively did that. We got our beverage there. Now we'll collect our coins and crouching is super cold. So that's fun. Whew. Now we have a ton of coins for all the other adventures and we'll leave a nice hot beverage in there for somebody to come and collect. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're gonna get the beverage, calm down. Can you imagine? Oh, it wouldn't even be warm when they got it. It'd be like the worst gift ever. Yay, slope. And as we come down this slope, I'm like still walking carefully as if I'm gonna fall and it's dry. And Mr. Sleepy Guy is saying, I only recently found your channel, but I've binged 70% of your video already. Thank you, great for the, thank you for the great content. Well, thank you. Again, if you're ever going on a big old binge of the Tokyo Lens content, please leave me a trail of comments along the way. I check comments non-stop so it's a really good chance for us to get to know each other and i really enjoy that part of the experience so 100 percent always leave me a trail of comments even if you want to go back leave me a couple comments let me know what you thought we can get to know each other and ray saying and oh yeah if uh let's see if we can't get the, the likes up to 500 likes in the next 60 seconds. Gamifying it, ready, set, go. And Pied Piper in here saying this won't get you a hot chocolate or cookie dinner, but I hope it'll get you a drink. Well, thank you very much. I, I really do want a cookie dinner. It reminds me of the 90s when there were those shops that just sold giant cookies in the malls, do those still exist? <sighs> I feel so detached from the rest of the world. Sometimes it's like I'm living on an island separated from the rest of the world and everybody here speaks a different language or something. I don't know, it could just be my imagination, but that's what it feels like. And Next one is from Monique saying, yay, got to join you this morning. Happy New Year, you made my day. Keep warm, this is for your hot beverage. Thank you so much for that. We're gonna actually head down this way pretty soon, but we're gonna walk up just a little bit. And Ray saying, for some grape mentos, the US does not have them, really? I did not realize that the grape mentos were like a, a Japan thing. Okay. Oh my God. This dude has a hat. Somebody stole a pylon and turned it into the hat for this snowman right here. And this, this is peak of my day right here. This, oh my, come on. Let's push those likes up to like 650. And he's derpy. Look at his derpy face. Oh, if he doesn't push things up to like six, 650, what will? What will? Honestly, for the derpy snowman, give that like button some love. That, that should be the new thumbnail right there. Derpy snowman. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my God. Captain Derps a lot. That's his name. I bet you didn't know it was his name. But it is. His name is Captain Derpslop. And he's like, hi. That. <laughs> oh my God. I want to high five him. High five. Yay. I have a glove on this hand because it's holding the gimbal. And no glove on this hand because it spends a lot of time in the pocket. So, Captain Derpslop. We're at 600 likes. Let's push us to 650. It is 749. I want to see likes match viewers by 8 a.m. I think we can do it. I definitely think we can do it. Okay, Captain Derps a lot. I love you and I will I will see you real soon. Oh my God, I like, I just love him so much. I don't know why I love him so, he's just, 
I want to immortalize this moment. Let's just take a moment and salute him. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm saluting him. It's what us captains do. Because he's a captain. You can tell from the hat. A pylon on your head 100% counts as being a captain. It is exactly the same as going through all the work it requires to get a captain's license. Basically, you have two options if you want to be a captain. You can go through all the training and testing and everything like that and you can become a captain or you can be anointed by somebody who put a pylon on your head and that also 100% counts as being a captain. So 100% he is the hero that we need. And Mia in here again with such a kind super chat saying, must be my lucky day, caught an 80 kilogram boar and made it back to see the stream. That that is that is quite the start to the day. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. That I was not prepared for that in the least. Uh, I'm gonna be extra Japanese and go along with the number eight for your otoshi dama. Arigato gozaimasu. Wishing you many happiness and most importantly, good health. Honestly, thank you so much for that kindness. Oh my God, the snow here is much deeper than I had anticipated. I'm just trying to make it to that, that grate over there, that vent, and I'm regretting my life choices as we do so. Woo wee, okay. Give me a second to see if I can't, oh no, that is not gonna be a great spot for that, but you know what? We're gonna put it there anyway. And uh, we're gonna look at that tree. And uh, we're gonna take a second to enjoy a hot beverage because oh, got some light here behind us. That's nice. Wow. Okay. I my fingers in the shop for everything in auto. Good morning. Oh. Saying everyone here in the dentist waiting room love the snowman. <laughs> got a new gimbal yet? Question. I want a black gimbal. I'm all dressed in black, black hat. I've always got a black mask, black gloves. Everything's black. And my gimbal is like some weird gray. I gotta get a new one. Uh, and I'm gonna guess this is Southern Florida Sphinx is my guess. Saying I got a cameo from Nasky for my birthday, but I'm saving it for Friday. Glad I caught the stream. <laughs> Look at all that. Steam is what that is. Uh, and yeah, Natsuki is on Cameo right now. If you didn't know that, you can get birthday messages and stuff from Natsuki. And if you're lucky, he might mess it up and say something wildly inappropriate or terrible. And that's the real gift, isn't it? So. <laughs> I might have choked on that a little. Oh boy, okay. We're gonna keep our walk going in a second. Oh. I've gotta like re-put on everything after, to be honest. When, when I do this, I take everything off and I take the hoods down and usually it's all up and I've got like double hoods and it's just, I'm hidden. I'm hidden beneath all of this. And so give me a second. We will turn this around. We'll look at these, these cars over here as we get everything going again. There we go. And oh, there we are. Ha ha. And I just knocked snow onto my head and the beverage wasn't super. Look how deep these like this is not. Oh my Lord. Oh, this was not a good thing. Okay, there we are. Ah, oh, and the Hokkaido bus is our savior. Whew. You know what? I think it's just about time to head this way. We're gonna follow the whistle. Also, if you're in Hokkaido, oh, ha <laughs> ha. He got beeped. He was gonna back up and smash the dude. Okay, I stopped paying attention to the comments section for just a minute. I'm just quickly getting caught up. 
as we walk, hoping that I don't fall. Woo. All right. There we go. Caught up now. Are you in Tokyo right now? Is that a real question? Is that like... Did, did you not read the, the title of the stream? Or... Like, I can understand if you just joined it, but you, 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 you could have read. <laughs> so, all right. Aloha. Hello, hello. Please. How cold is it there? We've, we've covered that. It's a steadily increasing temperature. Yep. Looks like Tokyo to me too. This is exactly what Tokyo looks like all the time this is what tokyo looks like actually in the middle of august and uh it's fantastic uh except you can replace the the moisture that you see in the form of snow here with humidity tokyo in august can get so hot and humid that every now and then you'll just see a a fish swimming through the air so Seriously, it can be really quite humid. Aloha, are you in Hawaii? L-O-L, -L. that's what I'm saying. There we go. So, saying it is currently, what? Don't give me us your messages. I wanted to see the temper. I think we got to see the temperature. So we're good. I don't know which way we're gonna walk. I'm just gonna look at this Audi in the snow which as we know is a t-shirt all of its own. And yes, I'm in Hawaii. I'm in the capital of Hawaii, Tokyo, where it always snows. So these are real things. H&M, Zara, Sweden, hello. So am I in Sweden now? Is that what's happening? If it was only minus 10 here, it's minus 33. That is, Sydney is looking pretty snowy for this time of year. And bus. I already miss Captain Derpy Derp. Ah. New goals for 2022. I, uh, I don't like I, I try to use a new year to, to start fresh on stuff. And I almost went down on the ice there once again. Uh, but if I have a like resolution, I'm usually not gonna wait until the new year to start that. As soon as it comes into my mind, I whoa, almost went down again. I'm going to start that pretty much the next day from whenever I decided it. So nothing super new. Uh, there is a, a bit of a, I don't know if we call it a resolution, a mindset, what you wanna call it, coming up in the video on this weekend. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's definitely Japan. I see marshmallow clocks, right? If you see marshmallow clocks, you've got to know that we're in Japan. So, Woo. more hats. Is that the? Uh, I I don't know what the. No, it's not the chirpy bird in the background. Ah. Oh the suit company for when you need a cheap suit that's of so so quality at a reasonable price go to the suit company not sponsored i'm so glad that outside of the pokemon suit that suits are not a part of my regular life anymore honestly Hokkaido's location aside, crosswalk beeps are nostalgic. Whenever I think cheap suits, I think of rush hour too. Me too. Cheap suits, cheap I, I really just want to go just so I can have one of those cheap suits made. That's it. So this is about the point we did in our walk last time. How do I keep ending up on the same streets? I think I'm just drawn to a certain pattern like bears. People often ask me about bears in Japan and bears often walk the same routes for generations and generations and generations. 
and I feel like I have the same routes ingrained into me because I'll often walk the same areas. Maybe I'm just following the streetcars. Streetcar named Desire. And so, <laughs> Simpsons reference, if you got it. And so, yeah, you can usually avoid bears in Japan by simply checking the, the local government websites and seeing where the majority of the bear sightings are. And it pretty clearly paints a, pa a picture of where their path is. Pretty clearly paints a picture of their path. Try to say that 10 times. Pretty, pretty, I, I can't even say it twice. And Jonas is saying, if I had to choose where in Japan to move to, I might go with Hokkaido. It has mostly similar climates to my country. Right now, it is zero degrees outside, but no snow. And a home from the Czech Republic. Well, hello. And bonjour, which is not the right language, but hi. And thank you so much for keeping that super chat ball rolling. So this is the, the part of the stream where we got into all the talk about the super lovely pole town because that is just the best possible name for a place. It's called Pole Town and precisely paints a picture of the path. Pretty precisely paints a picture of the path. There we go. And so I think we're gonna take a little bit of, a, let me take my hood off so I don't sweat to death. We're gonna head into Pole Town here. Just a minute so you can kind of check out and see what it's like. Pole Town is open. And Shauna, hi Shauna, how are you doing? Say, I should be in Vienna now. I'm so glad I caught this stream. Well, well-timed, happy new year from a snow-free South Wales. Wow, I would like to be literally anywhere right now. I'm just always happy to move. Okay, let's head into Pole Town. All right, so usually this is all shops and whatnot that are open and currently it's all shops and whatnot that are closed. So this is the excitement of Pole Town in case you were like, hey, what kind of excitement did we miss out on with Pole Town the other day? We didn't really get to explore it. Well, this is it. A whole bunch of closed shops because nothing's open. And so we're going to go out the Deguchi here because this escalator is far more exciting than Pole Town. And why am I standing? Just keep walking than Pole Town ever could be. Ta da! And a mega donkey. What is this? It's only $5.98. Is it worth it? Okay. Why am I not surprised that the Mega Donkey in Sapporo has studs for your shoes? That's, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And they're only $5.98. So if you come out to Sapporo and you need studs for your shoes, Mega Donkey's got them. So that's where you're gonna find them. And there was a super chat in there that I don't want to miss. So, and Apple Dave in there. Thank you very much, Apple. Oh, I need to put that hood back up. Woo -hoo. It's the, whoo, much better. The wind, she's cold on the ears. Oh, there we are, feeling much better. Everyone looking all happy this morning here in Sapporo. So, any requests or questions inside of this walk?
there's a great Kisaten in that Shoten guy. There usually is. Yay, Mossberger, which is closed. Everything's always, always closed. <laughs> and Gary in there saying, have you tried Hokkaido curry soup? I have not. What is Hokkaido curry soup? Let me know. And if you guys haven't already, since everybody else is jaywalking, I feel wrong not doing it. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jaywalk because it feels like the appropriate thing to do at the moment. So the jaywalking has happened. And what camera are you using? We've covered that, jump on that, on one of those. And honestly, what is this Hokkaido? It's Hokkaido curry soup. Well, they, that's a very apt description there. I, I don't think I could have done better myself. Oh. So the other day, I went up onto a rooftop around here. And as I got up to the rooftop, there was a security guard there. <laughs> Literally get out onto the rooftop and security guard is there. And I just nod at him. I'm like, oh mama, like good evening. And he's like, oh mama. And he's like, Osashin? <laughs> he just like points at my camera. And like, yeah, you taking pictures? And I was like, yep. And he's like, Kyotsukete, suburiyo. <laughs> Careful, it's slippery, you'll, you'll slip and fall. And that was it. And it was super awesome. So, really chill security guard who was just like, don't slip and fall. And I appreciated that. Norm has a special license for jaywalking. That's the real purpose of my captain's license, is for jaywalking. In case, in case you didn't already know, that's what it's for. So, oh. Oh, that is terrible audio. That speaker has been blown a long time ago. But it's still important for them to play it as loud as possible. Quality does not matter. Only volume. I wonder how many times this thing has been hit that they needed to surround it with this many poles. They're just like, nah, nah, these things have just been hit way too many times. We're just going to pull them up. We're going to pull them right up. And da, 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 Jessica in here keeping that super chat ball rolling saying, stay warm. We just had a winter storm here in Seattle, US area, but nowhere near as much snow as where you are. Yes, as we have established, we are in Sydney, Hawaii, in its capital of Tokyo. So the poles need poles. The poles definitely do need poles. I think all the poles need poles. You can get taxis here. That's a snowy spot just for taxis. And guys, since we still haven't gotten the likes to match the number of viewers, let's spend the next two minutes just giving that like button some love to see if we can't get things a little closer to around 800 likes. I think we can do it. Ready, set, go. Beep boop. Beep boop. Dude's out for a morning jog. I always feel safer pointing the camera at the car when it's coming towards me. That way they don't feel like, oh, I can just hit this guy. They're like, oh, I'm on camera. I have to behave now. Oh, yes, we crossed 800. That was so quick. That was so quick. That's just big old crab. So Sapporo has crab. There it is. The answer to everyone's question. Does Sapporo have crab? Yes, it does. There it is. Woo. Ah. There are actually a lot of hotels out around this area, which is surprising because it's kind of far. I've been meaning to get back out to Shikoku uh, I want to go out to like Matsuyama or something like that. And honestly, I looked at, I'm going to be staying for like a, a semi extended time this time if I go out to Matsuyama. And I was looking at hotels in the area 
and there are very, very few hotel options. And I've never realized that because every single time that I've ever gone out to Shikoku or at least to Matsuyama, I've stayed with my good friend Sherry at her place. But with whew, the way the world is right now, I figure it's a little bit safer and more comfortable for everybody rather than jamming one extra person into the house to grab myself a hotel and then I have all the freedom to kick back and do my editing and my work and hang out with this crow right here. And so I was looking at hotels and <laughs> oh, they're like next to none. And look, that's just pure ice. If we're going down anywhere, it's here. That is so slippery. So slippery. Whew. Gonna just slid right across that whole thing. Slid across the whole thing. So we have the covered arcade here. The Shoten guy. We're gonna kinda skip it and we're gonna jaywalk. Cause that's what we do on Tokyo Lens. And we avoided getting hit by a bus, which was pleasant. And uh, there's a bit of a market like a crab and fish market around the corner here. So that's going to be our next little mini adventure. But as I mentioned at the beginning of this stream, today's stream is not going to be a super long one. We're actually going to be keeping this stream much, much shorter. So if there are requests or questions or anything, I recommend dropping them into the comments section earlier rather than later. So. Yes, the poles are to measure the height of the snow, but it's also to give the snow plow an idea of where the edge of the road is. It's kind of interesting. I came out to Hokkaido back in 2019 to shoot a project uh, that is up on the Tokyo Lens channel. And while I was here, I ended up getting in a taxi from the airport with a gentleman from France who could not have possibly been more excited about these poles. And he told me many long, exciting stories about the poles. And so, uh, when can we replace jaywalking with norm walking? Pretty sure we already have. It just needs to be more widely accepted. Now that's it. We just need to garner some more acceptance of it. Getting a little bit of snow here, which is super confusing. It's gotta be like just blowing off the roofs of buildings and whatnot because it's sunny out and yet snow is falling. If you're near the mountains and it's sunny out, but you've got snow, more often than not, it's just snow blowing off the mountains. But last night we had a clear sky as well and snow was just coming down in big chunks and da, 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 totally legal in every way yeah that crow is laughing at me and i know it he thinks my jokes are hilarious i appreciate him and that's something we haven't done on many of the streams lately since the last 12 streams that we've done have pretty much all been in more major cities. We, oh, it's, it's red, he's gonna go through it. He's gonna go through it, he went through it. There's his license plate. It was a new 73. In Japan, if it's only been red for like two to three seconds, a lot of drivers will just go through it. And I try to catch as many of them on camera as I can because I appreciate their efforts towards safety. I've also seen so many people on bicycles get smoked by taxis who like avoided the, who just ignored the red light and whatnot. So if you go through a red light in Japan and I can catch you on camera, I'm gonna. And Keith Fox in there saying, hello from Toronto. Thanks for the streams and videos. Happy New Year's everyone. Keith, thank you so much for that much much appreciated and we have a bit of a market here that's very bad yeah 
It is. It is very bad. I was living in a saksa when I watched. Look at this. Let's go this way. I was living in a saksa when I watched a mother with a child on her bicycle just get taken out by a taxi who completely ignored a stop sign. And I've been slowly collecting footage of cars going through red lights in Tokyo every opportunity that I get ever since. If they just completely ignore the stop sign or go through the red lights, I've been collecting footage of them with pretty much the sole purpose of eventually putting it into one giant compilation video and dropping it off at the Metro Tokyo, Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department at some point. So were they okay? Yeah, it looked like they were all right, but I will tell you now they weren't in perfect condition. It just, oh, honestly, Japan has a real problem with like red lights. So love the place, super do, but unless the light has been solid red for some time, do not trust it. Just keep yourself safe, everybody. Remember that I love you. And Thiago is saying a friend of mine couldn't watch the stream, but we enjoy your <laughs> streams a lot. Thanks for showing Hokkaido. It's super pretty. Honestly, thank you so much for the kindness in that super chat. Really appreciate it. And here we go. We have all the, the cunny, the crab out here. Look at that. $70 crab right there. $300 leg. And just once again, uh, Thiago, am I saying that right? Thank you so much for your kindness in that. And look at that part of the morning market is open. So let's take a little bit of a walk through and check it out. Look at the bright, it's very flashy. It's very flickery is the word we're looking for. And again, about 6,000 yen for each one of those. 5,500 for that guy. Wow. That one's like 1,200 yen. And it doesn't really look like they have any street food in this morning market, but look at the big boys here. Those are huge. Those are like 230 bucks for the ones on the right and 250 for the ones on the left there. Those are some serious, wow. Look at that. I will say miles. Let's walk through. Why wouldn't we walk through? Andy Ho saying for a sniff of the expensive seafood. And they say tourist prices, but it's not really like, like I think people from and purchase at that price just so they can get the fresh. Look at that. This was all closed up last night when I came through here. So I didn't get to walk through it. But you got some dried hotate here for 9,000 yen. Yeah, those are tourist prices. And it seems like the signal has gone to absolute garbage. So we get out of there. When the signal gets bad, I want to give a huge, huge thank you to the quality of the iVideo Wi-Fi for that. So iVideo doing a great job at keeping that signal quality good. Much love to them. And there is food here. So you can actually go in and get a bowl. And that actually looks really nice right about now. But we're going to try and those are not the shoes I would want to be wearing in this situation. I have 
boots that have studs installed in them and I still come pretty close to slipping. I'm fairly confident that if I had to wear something like that, I would just, just go down. I'd be done. That's it. Be slip and death. So. All right. Heels can help in ice. Uh, I would hope, but I, I feel like they would, they would help you fall. I don't know. There's not a lot of surface area. Mind you, I still fell and I, I had all the surface area in the world, so. And look at the beautiful river. Yay. River beauty. Heels work like studs. I, I don't know entirely that they do. I would hope that they, you know, obviously everyone's chiming in saying like the heels are great for snow, so. Please be careful, please be careful. Good, okay. I was very slippy along there and I didn't want to see her wipe out, so. <laughs> the lady's trying to invent a new sub-zero fatality. Ah, yes, yeah, sub-zero. Frozen, frozen fishes. So I got a pretty cool hotel this time. I've actually decided to toss it in as like a cut scene at the end of the video that I'm doing for this Sunday, just because I actually like the place so much. And it comes with a naturally late checkout at 11 a.m. But I think today I'm gonna go for the even later checkout at noon to allow me to grab that little bit of extra sleep because I only slept for maybe two and a half hours last night. To be honest, I was actually pretty excited about the stream. So I had about three and a half hours to get to sleep. And then I just, I couldn't sleep. Oh, we're all running. That's what we're doing. We're running, we're running, we're running. Join the crowd, do the run, slip and fall. So much fun. We're limericking. Whew. Here we go. Spinning out his tires, doing everything you can. Aw, oh, come on. Spin those tires. That was a rear wheel drive taxi. Did not realize that he was gonna be across the red light. We've established that that's the safe move. <sighs> But yeah, I just could not fall asleep for like the first hour last night. I love the fact that I've been creating now. I think I'm going into my, I think I'm into my fifth year of creating. And I still love what I do to the point where I want to walk down the icy snowy roads because the risk factor is higher. <laughs> I love what I do to the point where I just don't, I, I can't sleep, I get excited. Like I shot a video last night and then came back and had some food and then was really looking forward to today's stream and genuinely just could not get myself to sleep. And modern tech, spinny car. Those are cool. Very BP though. So we're gonna walk away from the BP. Also guys, uh, let's see if we can't get that like button count up to let's say 950 in the next two minutes. I think we can do it. Ready, set, adventure, start. We're gamifying this every single time. And no, I don't think, it was definitely not a Maserati. I think it was just a crown. I wasn't paying attention to what kind of car it was. I want to slope and it's very slippery. So 924. I think I said the rule. <laughs> we almost went down again. You know, if that's the case, I think within the next two minutes, we can get the likes up to 1000 likes. Let's get up to a nice round number in the next two minutes. It is 824 right now. How are we going to play it? Are we going to be able to do it? Is the game going to win? We're at 8.52 as I'm saying, 9.57 as I'm saying this, because I can't, I'm, I'm mixing up the time with the number of likes, and I just can't say numbers and words. 
So, smash that like button. Give it some love. What do we got here? We got Sapporo City Hall, the Citizens Hall. They have their own hall. Sapporo Station and the Clock Tower, all of which we have done in our stream today. And this one's Aurora Town, which sounds much nicer than Pole Town. Do you notice even the make of it's fancier than Pole Town? Pole Town just looked kind of cheap. So we are at about 990 likes. We are 10 away. Let's see if we can't get to a thousand. So, whew. we did it. We did it. We're at 1,000 and we did it. It's 825. We did it within a minute. You guys made that a lot of fun. Over the past month, we have hit up six to seven different locations doing a total of 12 live streams all throughout Japan. It has been an absolute blast. We've stuck to major cities for the most part. Stick down here does Q though, Japanese archery. So that's super cool. Where else would you like to see in Japan? Leave it in the comments section when the stream wraps up. Let me know where you'd like to go next. Is there anywhere in Japan that we haven't hit up in the last month that you desperately, desperately want to see? Please let me know. A huge thanks to the Mod Squad and the Patreon crew for all the support in making these streams possible. And David in with one last super chat of the day saying, have really been enjoying your recent streams almost as snowy in Southern Sweden. Yay. So do not leave your location request in the chat. The video is about to go live. We're gonna wrap up. I'm gonna publish, leave it in the comment section and vote for the ones that you want to see. Any vote for Okinawa will be removed. If you haven't been joining the, uh, the recent streams, you won't know why. So there's a lot for you to cut out, catch up on. So thank you guys. And I will see you again. You know, we're just gonna look over here real soon. Don't leave it in the chat, leave it in the comments.